everybody to know that I'm coming out today. I'm kind of far away from the screen, so I see that your name's popping up, but I can't see who you are. But hi, thanks for coming. So check this out. Two years ago, I was in San Francisco, and I was privy to meet some of the most fabulous people in the world, okay? And they literally took me under their wings and beat my face back into recognition, and they told me to live out loud. So what I did was I followed their advice. Oh, yeah, it's a song about it. take my advice. Well, anyway, so I followed their advice. And I'm coming out today to tell you last year a uh, drag queen saved my life. And today I am officially naming Monday, January 7th, January 7th, National Quick Kiss a Queen Day. Happy Drag Queen Day. Now I want to explain to you why this day is so important. You know, you see me on a regular and how I be looking. I still, you know, I'm still fine, but just a little quaff down, if you will. But see, my queens, they showed me how to get it done. So I have brought my queendom back with me to my castle. And I'm going to show you how it all started, okay? So here's the deal. Now, the first thing you need to know is I never wore false eyelashes. But oh, no. My queens told me to double, double, triple, double these bad boys. Put them on and make it happen. Hey, Brian. Right? So, I got. I don't ever run out of these. Second thing is, you don't want no nip slip. You know what I'm saying? Like, bloop. Mm-mm. So, you put those over your nip so you don't have a nip slip. Because, you see, I'm classy. All right? And then... For those divas that are getting a little low in the tit, we've got tape lift. Well, because I've never had a problem with breast jewels, because I don't have any, I still like to pull them up a little bit. So that's right. My queens told me how to do that. Hey, y'all. All right, so hold on. I'm going to take, take you off the stand here so I can make you all understand. Hi. Hold on one sec. All right, so in order to be a fierce queen, you know, to become a queen in your own mind, I mean, in my mind, I am a queen. My inner queen was released last year. Jose Guzman Colon. Oh, my God, I love you so much. Mark Jacques, you are everything. And 20 years ago, Brucey, Brucey, you really released my inner queen. Well, here you go. So they told me, they said, you have to have different identities, Kim. So this was my identity back in, at Miami Pride last year. And I want to tell you, not only did I slay the stage, I slayed this look, y'all. I call her Betty Boop. And she was my first wig that I wore. The first one. Because I was coming into my inner queen. Hail to the flag. Here we are. This was more of my, I want to be Diana Ross slash... Uh, whoever else wears their hair like this, a little confident, but not quite ready yet. But I wore that anyway. That was my second angel wings from my queen. Beat my face down, baby. So this is Alice, because Alice is still, you know, sort of in the closet. She's still trying to, you know, decide whether she want to come out anymore. Okay. Now this is what this is. Hobishi. Hobishi <laughs> is um. Pretty much what she look like. She get up in the morning like that. She go to bed like that. You can ask who be she or who she be with. Who knows? This one has gotten a lot of action. Now, we come down to this one, who is a very, um, very close second for Hobishi. But uh, her name is She Wanna Be. A lot of call, a lot of people call her She Wanna Be, you know, real fast. But it's She Wanna Be. So She Wanna Be Hobie She, but she quite, she, you know, she ain't quite ready. She a little bit mm, ghetto. So I wear her pretty much all the time because I'm ghetto. Okay, now for my last 
Look, oh, Jesus, oh, Father, oh, Father, hold on, y'all. Well, anyway, this is, this is Cru Cruella, and Cruella just goes where she goes, she does what she does, she works what she works, she always makes me look good, so that's Cruella. Now, in order to be even more fabulous, you have to have your, the right beat face. So my daughter in love, she gave me Naked Decay, excuse my, um, my voice, I've got, <laughs> I got stripped up. And then there's my lip palette. And then there's my beaded palette, you see? So all of these things get me to my dragon. And then of course, you have to have all of the right garb, you see? So I have my little drag queen shortsies, but they're actually my shortsies. Then I've got this fabulous, evening gown and then of course the the jumpsuits are everything yes yes so i'm like a little girl in a candy store and i just wanted to share with you all that you all can pull out the inner queen in you you just have to be confident and you just have to really hang with the best queens now i would be remiss if i didn't sit up here and name all the queens that I so love and that have been so instrumental to me in my career. You know, I, I, I don't have enough time or enough time. So I will tell you that I love RuPaul's Drag Race. It's like everything. And I take notes. I take notes because they can be the face better than we can. You know what I'm saying? So ladies, I suggest that if you really, really want to get the beat down, then you go and you contact your nearest queen. And it's a store called Queenosity that I just made up. <laughs> Don't steal that. Anyway, Queenosity will beat your face till it's irrecognizably fabulous. All right? Now, I'm going to come back later with a queenified face, okay? And I want to say that I think it was Bullshit when they sent Latrice Royale home. She is like the goddess of all. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. Hold on. It's bullshit. But anyway, I will never be Latrice Royale, but I tell you this I'll never be a drag queen, but I am a queen. And that's for damn sure. And I want you to know that it takes just a few things and a few people to make you the queen, the inner queen that you are. Hey, Bobby Shaw. Anyway, so happy International Queen Day to all of my favorite drag queens. Thanks for beating a diva down and keeping her quaffed and fabulous. Thank you for all my friends. They're all thanking you. And the next time you see a drag queen, kiss her. Kiss a queen, y'all. Kiss a queen. Ah, holla. Bye.